Bonjour and welcome to another Alexis review. I hope you're all fine and today we will be talking about scotch and whiskey. It was first thought of by uh, Tom Elderfield who he is uh, an amazing creator. I think he's doing a lot of uh, consulting for a TV show Magic Creator on Instagram, TikTok and uh, the amazing team at Unsunshine Production uh, that made this possible so you get the best of both worlds. The brain of Tom Elderfield even though the brain of on son chien is quite amazing too and the quality of manufacturing from the company Anton son chien production this is a real gem <laughs> So basically, what is it? It's a scotch and soda gimmick. So you've uh, been uh, known to this gimmick with coins, but here it has been made with keys. And I can tell you that coins are circular. It's quite easy to make them. Keys, <laughs> it's another it's another um, kind of gimmick making. So basically you show a brass key and a silver key. Uh, it can be on the keychain or in the end of the spectator. When you snap your hand, the brass key disappears and you can find it anywhere you want. Uh, so that's the main plot with the gimmick. Uh, you get two versions of the trick, the standard and the deluxe. I will talk about it later on in this video, but um, you can do much more because one part of the gimmick can allow you to perform very clean color changing key, which is amazing too. Um, yes, it's a real good project. Scotch and whiskey can be found at uh, roughly $99 for the standard pack and $149 for the deluxe pack. The standard pack is the one I have here, which is the, the pack with the, the gimmick and the regular key, the keychain and the gimmick to reset. But the deluxe pack comes uh, with the same thing. And additionally to that, you get uh, one extra regular brass key one regular silver key, which you don't have here, one keychain, so you can perform uh, a lot more. Uh, and the, del the deluxe pack is very helpful if you like uh, free key by Greg Wilson to change key from one hand to another, or if you like to have everything examined, mm, I, I suggest you to buy the, the deluxe pack. Everything can be found on the link in the bio, if you want to support and help my reviews, you can directly buy the tricks uh, from the link in the bio. Even though I'm 100% honest with the product, uh, it helps me if you buy the trick from the, from the link. Thank you so much for that. So what do you receive? First, you feel free to subscribe to this channel. It's always helpful. Uh, inside, you will find a little thank you note. Um, yes, uh, I can show that you have a little thank you note. At the back, you get some tips to uh, care and maintain your gimmick. Uh, here is the stuff you receive. So you get the gimmick, the keychain, which has been supplied so that it doesn't damage the gimmick. You get a regular brass key and you get an extra tool to reset. The, the extra tool can be uh, carried around on your keychain. Uh, first, they had the reset part of the gimmick inside of the brass key, but you couldn't have both key, the gimmick and the brass key, handed together to examination which I found not a problem because when I have this kind of gimmick, I always have one key there, one key there. Please check them out, okay? And you take them like this. Um, I, I understand why they put the extra tool uh, externally on, an extra, on a little part instead of on the key, but I, I, I think definitely that you could have went with the gimmick, uh, the reset tool inside of the brass key so that you only have to carry both key and the key change. But it's super easy to carry around the extra gimmick and super easy to remove it, so it's not a big deal. The gimmicks, um, 
they're amazingly well made, uh, but I will talk about that. The tutorial video is uh, one hour long from Tom Elderfield. He tell you all you need to know about the gimmick, how to maintain it, how to handle it and to care it. Uh, you also have extra video from Anson Chien on how to adjust the gimmick if needed. Mine is just perfect and how to care. They put a lot of thoughts on the care of the gimmick because it's not that it's fragile, but it's something that you have to look at after. Uh, you don't want to drop it, you don't want to throw it away, uh, the same as you would do with any coin uh, scotch and soda gimmick. So the gimmick is just amazing. Let me show it to you. When I, when I receive it, I said, which side is the dirty face? Because as with uh, all of those kind of gimmick, you have a dirty face, uh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> I couldn't tell. So this is the gimmick. I will put a little bit more light. Um, I love the fact that there is a little texture on the, the, the silver key. So this is the, the gimmick. And you simply can't tell which side is the dirty face. It's so well made. So well made. Uh, I have to... <laughs> let me check because I, I myself I get fooled because I don't know which side is the dirty face. Okay, I, I was wrong. It was the other side. So uh, this is the I showed you the gimmick uh, closed. This is the open gimmick. So you get the brass key. You get the the silver key. You could even oh I have one light that went off. No problem. Uh, you could even flash the other side of the the silver key because the way of uh, how it has been made it's a genius. Um, this, uh, as I said, allow you to perform very clean color changing uh, key. It's it's so well made and very useful when it comes to this kind of thing. And of course, when you're when you're ready to go, you just take the keys and one key simply disappear and you can find it anywhere you want. The keys have been made so that they are directly cut, which is a great thing, I think. And uh, the, let me show you also the brass key and the keychain. So the keychain is like a spring keychain so that it doesn't damage the, um, the gimmick because the gimmick needs to maintain its shape. So you don't want to apply pressure or any force at all on it. And this is the brass key. The brass key is just amazing too. I was a little bit afraid that the key was going to be thick because of how and why it is working. And pff, no, no, it's not thick at all. I'm no, I'm super confident to handing this to an audience. They won't find anything. I, I maybe I have no. I don't have keys on me, but the the brass key is a little bit thinner, but it's not. I can hand this out to somebody, no problem at all. They won't find anything, they won't find it thick, and I love it. The, the fact that it looks like French keys, because I live in France, and uh, in many tricks they provide keys like this, which doesn't, simply doesn't exist in our country. So I'm very happy they went from the, for a classic design that we can find in France, so it doesn't People don't say, oh, what, what, what kind of key is that? No, no, it's something that everybody knows and uh, the quality is just outstanding. They, they really did a tremendous job with the, with the, fabric, uh, with the fabrication, the manufacture of the gimmick. And uh, yes, the price is a little bit high, but it's, well, it's not even high because uh, the, the basic uh, magnetic scotch and soda is like 80 to 90 euros. So it's not, uh, it's not uh, expensive for, for what it is. I, I really love what I received and I, I think that they made a tremendous job on the, on the making of the gimmick. So hats off to the world team for making such an incredible gimmick. For a quick demonstration, it's very easy. You have uh, here on the keychain a brass key and a, a silver key. Let me put some light on it. Okay. And what I like a lot is the texture. The texture on the on the silver key is just amazing for me. So you have both keys here, and uh, I will I will try to make it the the cleanest I can. If you just shake like this, if you just shake, you only have the silver key remaining and the brass key just teleported. 
I, I didn't have an idea on when to put it. Maybe you even saw it before the, the trick, but you get an idea on where you can put it in my neck. It's, uh, it's very simple, but you could even produce it under the, the, the watch of somebody. You could produce it under a napkin on a table. You have a lot of ideas of presentation and how you can use, but you get a basic, ideas on, a basic idea on wow, how you can use this trick. Let's go with the cons. As I said, I would have preferred the reset part to be in the brass key, but it's just a personal preferences. Uh, it, it's so easy to carry around the extra gimmick, so it's not a big deal. And as with all kind of gimmick like this, you have to take care of your gimmick. Don't use it as you, you can't, I wouldn't put it in my regular pocket with all my keys or in my bag or this has to maintain its shape and uh, you don't want any uh, friction or pressure on it. So I would have, I would keep it in a separate little bag or pocket so that it doesn't get damaged. Not a big con, but it's not something that you will be able to carry around per se, or just if you want to carry around, put it in a little bit, in a little pocket alone so that it's protected from all the exterior uh, things so that it could be your wallet, it could be your coins, your keys. You don't want it to be damaged. Now let's go for the pros. As I said, the gimmick is just simply amazing. For me, it's the best gimmick I've seen in a long time. The quality of manufacturing is just amazing. I was afraid of the thickness of the key. It's not thick at all. You can present it without any fear. It's something very, very easy to do. You have just to focus on your presentation because that's the main part of the trick where you will be able to produce the brass key. Um, you, I think that if you want to perform a more routine, such as, as I said, free key by Greg Wilson, because one part of the gimmick allows you to perform kind of a free key routine, uh, I suggest that you buy the deluxe set because uh, even you can just switch everything out to, for it to be 100% examinable, but also you can perform additional routine, which is great. And um, yes, I, I think that the keys adds something uh, to the scotch and soda plot because with coins, it's a different story you tell. With, with the key, you have, I think, a little bit more room for presentation than with coins. So I think that the, um, this trick have a meaning by itself. Uh, it's not just like a copy of a scotch and soda coin trick. It's something unique that you will be able to uh, tell a story with. And that's uh, one of the favorite parts I have with this trick because it's something that you can, oh, those are the keys from my home, for example, and you can tell a story about it. While with coin, even though it's maybe more uh, impromptu, it's not the same depth in the in the storyline. So I really like this product. Uh, it really is well made and amazingly, it works amazingly. So for me, it's four, four hearts out of four. As for the difficulty, the reset is like five seconds. Let me just reset the keys uh, and I'm reset. So as you saw, it's very easy. I recommend you to keep it in a non-reset uh, state and a few moments before the routine, Put it in the re in the in the starting set uh, position because uh, if you carry it around um, unnested, you might damage the gimmick. So uh, together, it's it's okay and uh, it's not difficult at all to perform. Just find your own routine, your own presentation, and you will be good to go. Two stars out of four. Similar products, of course, you have Ida Key by Christopher Rollins, but Ida Key is like a non-magnetic locking uh, gimmick, so it doesn't lock. And uh, the two keys are two same colors, two silver keys, while I think the one of the strengths of here is that you have two colored key, which is very... I, I, I think that the spectator will understand better what's happening. So I prefer the two colored key and I like the fact that it can be, uh, it's locking so people can check everything while with either key they can't. Uh, so 
I think that it's better, um, um, scotch and whiskey is better than hide a key for all those reasons. Uh, I think that Joe Porper have a similar product too and all the scotch and soda routines and gimmicks can be used for this kind of routine. So feel free to put your favorite one in the comments. This video is now finished. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you liked it. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to watch my Instagram and Facebook. I publish there all the new reviews. And if you want to me to review anything else, feel free to put it in the comment section. Take care. See you soon. Au revoir.